Welcome back, it is Cabin Cowboy here with another video. Today, uh, I received a message today asking me if I could do a video on growth. But not just like normal growth, like, hey, uh, how do I get a bigger castle? Well, you upgrade it. No, this is the kind of growth that comes along with speeding up your growth. So I was asked, hey, what are some good ways that I could increase my growth without, you know, just like different types of uh, ways of speeding it up without using speed ups. So I thought to myself, well, this is a great question. You know, what what can we do with like, you know, Splendor gear and all um, different types of gear that you can craft that will give you some construction benefits? Um, how can you repurpose your talents? How can you use the, um, the, the talent points? And then how can you use temporary wonders. So I'm going to do a quick video and let's go through this one by one. So I'm looking here. I think Splendor is better. Yeah. So looking at my Splendor gear here, I want to try to find some things that I could probably live without. So I want to, you know, go through and, you know, look at the gear, see if, hey, maybe if we get rid of like one of these pieces of gear, and sw swap it out for a piece of gear that perhaps we don't necessarily need, then perhaps we could, you know, get some other equipment that would allow us to speed it up. And granted, I'm looking through this right now, and I'm not seeing anything. No big deal. If you really care that much about speed over cost, let's go ahead and show you what you could craft for yourself. And now... I just want to point out that there are some gold pieces like the honor as well as the sword of fortune that not only has some benefits but it also has some set resonance bonuses so you're going to get construction speed plus 15 percent from having two pieces you get troop training speed plus 30 percent for having six pieces of this gear honestly hands down amazing amazing gear so what you could do is you could say well let me get rid of two pieces of my splendor and i'll get two pieces of this now what two pieces well they actually have pieces that give you construction speed boosts so this would be honestly a great fantastic way like right here construction speed plus 28 percent that is phenomenal so i would highly recommend that you go ahead and get gear like this and get that two um two piece set bonus so moving forward from there we could also take a look at our guards because the guards have a great way of getting an extra little boost so i'm not really sure which one it is so bear with me here but if you can see here aids if you don't get aids but if you do happen to get AIDS, then I would highly recommend that you get some AIDS that would affect your cost to construct. So right here, boom, 455k iron requirements down the drain, plus 455k construction food requirements from a level 10. A level 10 of the purple, even better. So not bad whatsoever. It's a little costly. Probably do not recommend it myself. Now, looking at Galileo, he's got 25% construction speed. All you got to do is put him in the game, boy, and he's yours. I've also got 60% troop training speed, so that is phenomenal. Um, I highly recommend that if you want to go ahead and get some extra construction bonuses, you go ahead and do it. Now, furthermore, you also need to respect your talent points. You're going to want to put them in the economy. And look here. This is construction speed. We're going to go further down the line. And we're going to keep getting more construction. Construction 2. You're going to get development. Now this talent takes 20% off the time um, of doing construction or research by 20%. It only lasts for 5 minutes. So if you plan on doing something, you pop it and then you do it. So if... You keep going down the line, you'll get the general idea there. And then, of course, there's a temporary wonder. 
and the temporary wonder, once the store loads up, will give you, um, I think this is it, construction speed plus 20%. This won't last for two hours, and you could buy three of them. So that's 400 gold right there. So pop all of that in, make sure you've got all of your stuff rolling, and then you can start your gear, your uh, upgrade, and you'll cut a serious amount of time off. Now, let's say, okay, this is not enough. I want everything. Well, what can you do? I'll tell you what you could do. Let's take a look at the wonder map. We have the Enchanted Hourglass. Provides an eight hour speed up for your estate, 48 hour cooldown, but it gives you a 15% additional construction speed. So, 15% additional, like it just keeps adding up. It is insane. So if I wanted to go get this 15% stat boost, I could either be like, hey, KRL, you got a big upgrade coming along. I'm trying to do hospital level 22. Can you please let me borrow your enchanted hourglass? Let me get one of those eight hour speed ups. It, you know, I'm pulling out all the stops for this level 22 hospital. It's going to take me about 12 hours. Help a brother out. He's going to tell you, no, why the heck am I going to help you with a hospital upgrade? This is ridiculous. You are insane. You are out of your mind. So what are you going to do? Well, you only have one chance, one opportunity at this point. You're just going to have to attack for it. So set your march up and you go send it out on him. And that's how you would get that additional 15% boost. But let's not stop there. If you act right now, you can actually get another boost. So let me tell you how to get even more of a stat boost. So if you take a look at your strategies, you will notice that you could do a construction speed. Uh, I have no idea where it is. However, there's a construction boost, building booster, that gives you an additional 20% increase uh, for the entire alliance. So if you don't mind spending some of your alliance points there, not a bad idea whatsoever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any more questions, um, please don't hesitate to ask. One more thing before I go, though, I do want to say that each level of gear has that construction speed. Each level of gear also has resource gathering speeds. So if you're into that, you're into, you know, boosting up your uh your gathering, I would highly recommend that you would go ahead and get some of these boots. Like here, this boot has 17.5% construction speed. Go over to the necklace. Um, if you're like only able to do some of them, I would recommend that you only go for gathering speed and the construction speeds and the trade fees uh, gears and that you avoid production. So avoid production and you should be okay. Um, I mean, if you want like that set bonus from all the gold, go ahead and do the production require um, percentage increases. But if you take a look at like my exterior buildings, I hardly have any mines whatsoever. They're pretty low level as well. You're not supposed to be getting a lot of resources. So don't worry about that so much. Worry about the construction speed. Hope you guys enjoy this video. This is Captain Cowboy. Take care.